I'm Dr. Jordan Nguyen. I'm an engineer and an inventor, and I've come to China to see how the entrepreneurs are at the forefront of ideas and technologies that are changing our world. Companies here are using the proximity to factories to constantly innovate new ideas and update old ones. And they've used big data and artificial intelligence to help computers understand the world better. AI is changing our world, but not every company can have a team of experts like Google or Facebook does. A startup in Shenzhen is providing an off-the-shelf AI that can be used by anyone wanting to use artificial intelligence in their business. The man behind Product AI is Marlong Tech founder Matt Scott. Product AI is, is a way for anyone who has a, has a business to be able to access AI in as easy a way as possible without having to have a, a giant R&D team. As easy it is to make a web page, now you can make AI work for your system. Matt's AI specializes in helping computers see like we do. Because it can analyze huge quantities of data far quicker and more accurately than a human, it has the potential to make any industry that needs to understand images far more efficient. Including one of Shenzhen's most famous bits of infrastructure, Yantian Port. 25% of all China's exports flow from the Pearl River Delta to the world. And it too is getting smart. We're at the largest single port in the world. And on the side over there is the new port, which is going to be fully automatic. It's going to be artificial intelligence driven to be more efficient, faster, lower cost, and more safe. Artificial intelligence can automatically understand what containers are coming through the port and give instructions on what to do with them, all without any human interaction. It could improve efficiency by 30% and reduce labour costs by 70%. It's a great example of how AI could transform one of this region's dominant old industries. But what makes Marlong Tech special is that it isn't just working on the port, its AI can be applied in making any industry smarter. Like another of this region's most famous industries, textiles. The textile industry is dominated by Chinese production. I mean, they export at the largest scale in the world. In this business, efficiency matters so much. Fabric mills need to know what's happening next so that they can predict fashion so they have the materials ready. Predicting upcoming fashion trends traditionally relied on teams of people trawling random samples of photos from designer fashion shows. It could take weeks and worse still, not be accurate by analyzing hundreds of thousands of runway photos, we'll be able to determine uh, pretty well what is coming next. We'll be able to go from months to hours, and instead of random sampling, going through every possible image out there. This efficiency is so big for this traditional industry, and is really a great point for how can we bring AI to transform it to the next level. The reason Marlong software can analyze such a range of images is a type of deep learning artificial intelligence called a convolutional neural network. It learns what things are, kind of like how we do. And this is a model trained for recognizing animals. And this is a visualization of what the computer sees in some way. Computers can't just look at pixels to identify what an animal is. They might be in different positions, and a Chihuahua and a Great Dane look very different, even if humans would recognize both as dogs. In our brains, different neurons fire when we see specific stimuli, things like colours, shapes or features of an animal. And combinations of these neurons firing tell us what we're looking at. A neural network operates in much the same way. The idea of deep learning is that there's multiple layers. The first layer learns things that are very simple and straightforward, like edges. And the second layer may be blobs. And the third may be eyeballs. The next may be faces and, and so on. And you can almost think of it as building blocks. The combinations of these neurons firing is what allows your system to go, that's a dog. By telling a computer enough times what a dog is, it learns to spot the patterns that always appear in an image of a dog. It also works for clothing, food, in fact, anything. 
Mylong Tech has people all across China teaching computers to recognize the things its clients want recognizing. So that's why data is critical here. Training computers requires huge volumes of it. It used to be hard to get enough data for reliable computer models, but the recent rise in the internet and images posted on social media has provided masses of it. All part of the reason AI has exploded recently. There is just so many images being uploaded every single day to these media sites that it's just a tremendous source of data for us. Data is at the heart of all AI. So if it doesn't already exist, Marlong has to collect it itself. It's currently flying drones over the port to try to get enough photos to teach the AI how to recognize containers like a human does. The problem we're trying to solve here is the recognition of the codes on the container. It's similar in some sense to a license plate, but since they've been out in the open seas, uh, there's a lot of wear and tear. The drone is helping us to collect large-scale data of real containers in their natural habitat. Nowadays, for artificial intelligence, really data is the new oil. Recognized person. This kind of AI can help augmented reality shops interpret what you're wearing and automatically find items that complement your style, just like a human sales assistant. Ah, oh, I'm tapping that. It can help with quality control too. Previously, the only way to make sure a fabric is what it says it is was to painstakingly trawl samples under the microscope. Now AI can match materials in milliseconds with 100% accuracy. AI was once, you know, just in the realm of the big billion dollar companies, but now it's open up to anyone. This is what we think will help us get the transformation of traditional industries into this AI plus new world, is to make this stuff easy to use, low cost and fast. There's a huge push in the Pearl River Delta to make old, cheap labor based industries more efficient. More than 17,000 low-value factories have either been closed or automated in Shenzhen alone over the past five years. But automation and AI are also revolutionizing another sector of China's economy.